Hey guys, Adam here today with a speed comparison between the iPad 3rd generation versus the iPod Touch 5th generation. Alright guys, before I begin the test, I want to mention that the multitasking bar is cleared on both devices. And I'm going to go ahead and go into settings in Safari and clear the cookies, uh, data, and history. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And now, let's begin the test. Alright, the first thing I want to test is something pretty simple. Just turning the devices off and back on and seeing which device can perform that task quicker. Alright, and turning them off. It looks like the iPod Touch does turn off a bit quicker. Let's go ahead and turn them back on. And they're off. And they turned on at about the same speed, however the iPod Touch was a bit quicker. Now let's go ahead and run the Geekbench test on both devices. This is a utility you can purchase in the App Store and it tests the overall performance of the devices. Alright, and the iPad 3 got a score of 756 and the iPod Touch got a score of 625, showing that altogether the iPad 3 will probably have better performance and you'll probably notice that extra performance in stuff like gaming. However, the scores aren't too much of a difference. Next, let's go ahead and open up various applications on the devices. Like I mentioned before, multitasking is cleared besides settings. And let's start off with some games. So we'll start off with Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. And it looks like the iPad 3rd generation is a bit quicker here. And once they load, we'll test out some other games. So there we go, iPad 3 finished quicker. Let's now move on and go to Sonic CD. And sorry about that, but it looks like they're opening the application at about the same speed. However, the iPod Touch looks like it did finish first. Next, I'll test the speed on some default applications, starting with camera. iPad 3 finished quicker. Let's go ahead and snap some pictures, see which one lags the least. And I think it's pretty obvious there that the iPad 3 took a lot more pictures and the iPod Touch was lagging quite a bit. Safari. App Store. iTunes. Twitter. Photos, Game Center, YouTube. Next, we're going to go ahead and open up Safari and test some various web pages. Keep in mind that the cookies and cache were cleared and were connected to the same Wi Fi network on both devices. Let's go ahead and queue up Google, Apple.com, Engadget.com. And it looks like the mobile version did load up here, but the desktop version is loading here. Let's go ahead and change this to the desktop version and retest that. Alright, I'm going to refresh the desktop version of Engadget on both devices. And it looks like the iPad 3 was a bit quicker. And I'm going to do the same refresh test on TheVerge.com. So let's refresh. And the iPad 3 did finish a bit quicker. YouTube.com. And the iPod Touch was a bit quicker. And there we go guys, that's a speed comparison between the iPod Touch 5th generation versus the iPad 3rd generation. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. And also click the annotation on screen now if you guys want to see the speed comparison between the iPod Touch 5th generation and the iPhone 5. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching.